Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick tip about using tabs and CSS grid because uh, there's a there's actually a Webflow bug, uh, but there's a way around it and it's uh, pretty easy. So yeah, I got a tabs component set up here. You can see tab one, tab two, tab three, and this is done with grid. So you can see I got two columns right here. And if you look in the layout, um, just close this stuff up. Um, just those two sections. So I'm going to build this out and show you the one quick tip you need to be able to do this. So I got a section down here and I'm going to throw a tabs component in there. And you might think that uh, if I just throw on CSS grid here that everything is going to be fine, but there's a problem. And that is if you see here, let me smoosh this over here. If you see here, um, I've got the two parts of the tab component, but they're not flowing right. You would think that this would go in this first cell right here and then the second cell like they normally do. Let me get rid of this other row because we don't need it here. But that's not what happens. And when I click on this, you actually get this little thing right here. And um, that's not what we're looking for. So all you need to do is turn these into manually placed items. So once I click on manual, all of a sudden it jumps over to the correct section and you're all good. And now this tab, you've got um, your tab click things here and then you've got the actual slides in here and you'll be all ready to go. So that's how you create a layout like this with the tabs on the side if you want to do it with CSS Grid and Webflow.